literally typing in your name for the <laughs> party invite. Okay. So I forget <laughs> what. Okay, so welcome back. Yeah, I was like, I don't even remember. What to Close Plays Game. And this is my friend, Lady Boof, and we're gonna play this game. Hi! <laughs> I don't know either, because I'm not really good at the whole, like, record setup. But <laughs> I at least have a microphone now, so that's a bonus. That's good. Yeah. Here's my kitty. Hi, kitty! Hey. Okay, so let's go down. Um, I don't even remember. I haven't played... You know what's the problem with my gaming? Is I'm such an ADD person. I, like, start a game, and then I don't play it forever. Because I'm like yeah. so, I'm like hooked up on, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do art, I'm gonna do this, or I should adult today and do some <laughs> adulting. Right. It's just know. such life. Yeah, I don't even have ADHD, and it's kind of like that too from time to time. Yo, I gotta see if I, because I really do wanna start my meds again that I was on for college and see if it will help. Ah! There's a bird. Hey, do you want to come to me, or should I beam to you? Oh, yeah. I, I forget. Does it... Do I have to do... I forget if I have to do the quest. No, main quest done. I forget, but I think... Did I have trouble... Or... Oh, did you have to go for your gate still, or not? No, I know I got the gate. Let me see. I don't remember what remember I was Remember, we had to go do something before again last time. Hey, I did put up one of our Starbound co-ops. You can't really hear me well in it, but I put it up on my channel, so this one's gonna be up too. I'm recording now. I'm gonna become a new vlogger recorder. I just, the problem is, is I like to talk a lot, but I don't like it when people hate me. So I'm like, <laughs> hey, what's up? So I'm like, as soon as I skip my first hate comment, because I've already gotten a, my first sexist comment, someone was like, sexy MILF, and I'm like, I'm like, how lewd. Okay, and I'm like, yo, bro, if you're gonna call me a MILF, at the very least, like, comment, subscribe, and watch my video, okay? <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> Just kidding. This be a helpful <laughs> God, why did I get into YouTubing? It's just a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> it's because I like people, and I like gaming, and then I wanted to talk to people, and then I realized they're all creeps. Just kidding. <laughs> they're not all creeps. People in general are just weird online. It's true. And I think it's when you're cross cultural. A lot of people, a lot, I think a lot of way we interact online in the US has certain norms that they don't in other places. And I don't know. I don't know if you ever were hit on by a lot of people from other countries on your Facebook and other stuff. And you get all these hi, hello. What's your name? Blah, blah, blah. And then it goes on and on. Hi, cutie. Well, and I'm like, who are you? You're creeping me out and you're stressing me out. Right. And just like, why are you messaging me so much? And then and then if you get the one where they're being sexual or something. Oh, my gosh. The funniest meme. Um, I'm sorry. We're just sitting here talking. But, you know, it was basically saying it was like a form of, of, of girls dealing with a guys trying to get with them in their DMs. He's like, I'm horny, send me send me send me something hot and it was like fire. He's like, no, something <laughs> hot of you. And it was the letter U on uh, in, uh, on flames. <laughs> and he's like, no, something of your body. And she like um sends a picture of her foot or her <laughs> he's or no her head. Just above her head he's like no lower and she sends a picture of her foot he's like no i want to see your underwear and then she sh just does a picture of her just her bra and he's like i'm not talking to you anymore <laughs> nice. i'm like yeah that's what you get if you want to just sex pics and not talk to the girl oh my gosh right. that other meme too when it was like you know who's really gonna suffer during this whole thing dudes on dating apps welcome back <laughs> to courtship steve Welcome back to not seeing or not being able to talk to a girl for a week or talking to a girl for weeks before you actually see her. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Welcome back to working for it instead of just hooking up for sex ass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to you're not supposed to DTF anymore because it's not it's it's not social distancing. 
That's so funny. The whole reason I worry about this stuff is not because I care about people just wanting to have sex. It's because I've worked with students in the past and they're like, oh, it's just a sex app. I'm like, ugh. They all think it's a joke. Yeah. It ages you when you work with teenagers. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> it really does. I had one kid who was like, I don't watch porn. I'm like, look, I don't care what you do in your free time, but don't tell me about it. And don't do it at school. And you can't anyway because there's filter. And gosh. I don't know. We were so busy ta I was so busy talking <laughs> that, um, yeah, I need the 20 air crystals too. I can repair that ship, but it's gonna take 20 air crystal, air crystals, crystals. You'd better get yourself over to Ericus's mining facility. I've sent the location coordinate to your ship, your ship sail. Okay. So, oh, so we have to. Oh, okay. I think I've done this mission before and failed at it. Um. Oh, did you beam there? Well, Oh, you're trying to start the quest. Can we do it together? Sure. Jump starting development. Oh, and I need to do those too. How did you how did you get there? Where did you beam to? Uh, I beamed to the ship and then I talked to the little robot AI dude. And then you select missions and it'll be um Oh I remember this. This is awful. <laughs> I forgot about this. This is so terrible. You can probably just beam to me right now if you want. Missions. Oh, deploy. Yeah. The problem is I only have a sword. I don't have that good of a weapon. Yeah, I don't really either. Let's do the bet. Let's see if we can do this. And if we, if we, like, thoroughly fuck it up, we can. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know what's funny? Okay, so before I became a Christian, and this is why I swear so much still, and um, <laughs> when I was in my Christian program or whatever, someone like told me off because I sprained my ankle or almost sprained my ankle and I called the devil a bitch and she got all high mighty and I'm like, oh my gosh about it. But um, I just curse a lot and I was, I used, um, it was funny because one of my old work study bosses, he's like, and you're like, what are you doing over there? Cussing like a sailor or something. And I'm like, just mad. I'm expressing myself. But what I do hate is is the generation after me and uh, millennials. They swear so much that it doesn't even like. It's not even shocking, or it doesn't even like. Like it's like if you say it all the time, it's just like it's just. I don't think it it, 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 it doesn't have the same thing as if, like, you're saying it to emphasize. Because I'm like, I can't even tell if you're upset or angry or you just like the F word. Because that's, that's the problem. It's too many people like the F word. They like it a lot. And I'm like, okay, I, I get it's a very pleasurable thing to a lot of people. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the word is losing its meaning the more you use it. Right. Dumb concepts. And, right. yeah, whatever. It appears lockdown has been. Oh, I missed that. Oh, you know what would be cool? 
Do you do digital art at all? No, I've been trying. I've been wanting to get into it because I have um, a sketching program and I have like a cheap drawing tablet, but I only kind of mess with it once. I'm just having a my, my friend, um, Laura Sauropple, um, she's a Divine Art and she's a She's an artist and does a lot of commissions and stuff like that. Um, she's gonna design, I think, my banner. Uh, or I asked her if she'd do my banner for me. Um, but maybe in the future, sometime you can help me with some of my thumbnails because I'm not good at that. Yeah, I mean, I Honestly, it's really not that hard making thumbnails. I'm just not very artistic. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm artistic. I just. I, I think I get burnt out from doing everything, so I would like, I don't know, I just like, I don't yeah. like doing the thumbnails. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind editing, I don't, uh, even though I don't really know how to edit, it's funny because a lot of my editing I've learned to just uh, turn on and off and uh, like, you know, end it with, like, start at the beginning of my video, end it in the, the video and not have to go through and break things off. And I don't even know how to add stuff or whatever else. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay, yeah, we go through here. You know what's yeah, funny? I, know. Like, I was, like, a long time ago, when I played this the first time, I was like, where do I go, where do I go, where? And I was like so yeah. lost. And then I and then I had to look up a walkthrough and I'm like, oh, I'm like, this is where you go. Yeah. I think and I then all the monsters out, attack you here. Oh yeah, get out your sword because I think they're gonna attack soon. I've like done the beginning, yeah. yeah. Watch out. Ah! I go over here, FYI, because there's too many of them. Oh, oh, shoot. Are you gonna die too? Oh, so close. <laughs> this is why we're on the easiest one. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you back there. Let's try it again, and if not, okay. let's search to see if we can find a better weapon. The problem is we can't really find a better weapon because... I don't know. I, know. I don't know. Oh. Okay, we're we going back. Yeah. Oh, you want to know something exciting? It should be fine with me telling the internet so people don't know who I am. <laughs> um, I found out. Um, so my oldest brother has two kids, and I just found out. Um, my brother and his wife, uh, my, uh, well, they're not actually technically married. They were supposed to get married in March until COVID ruined their wedding. Like, literally ruined their wedding. They were supposed to get married in Maui. And, you know, they lost all this money on their wedding. I think they're going to do, like, a celebration or whatever. But they let, uh, my mom and I know that they're pregnant. I have to make sure I don't post this until they make an announcement in case they hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and also, she's very early, too. So, and she's like 35, you know? So, like, that's why I think they were just like, you know what? We're going to do a backyard wedding. So, they're they're doing a backyard wedding <laughs> next week. She's like, I want to make sure my wedding dress still fit. And I think they, like, purposely got pregnant because they're like, you know, they're getting up there. And so, they want to try and have kids. Um, because they're they're already in their mid thirties, and so but I got my niece and nephew, my babies. Oh my god my godson Jaden my sweet boy and I got um what do you call it? Um I got uh oh we gotta do this again. And I got a new baby coming. We don't know if it's boy or girl. She's like very early, so that's another reason why they haven't announced it. Is because you're not supposed to announce until you're first through the first trimester or something, right? No. Uh, well, I heard you're not supposed to. Uh. These things are so killer. Let me see if I can heal. Um, you're not supposed to tell. I heard like a lot of people until you're through your first trimester because p uh, women. Uh, uh, miscarry during the first trimester yes. more so so they're less you're less likely to miscarry um uh during the 
like after the first trimester. So it's less awkward or heartbreaking to tell people you're pregnant and, or, and then have to explain um, whatever happened if you if you tell too many people you're pregnant in the very early stages of pregnancy, I've heard. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Ah! Just some adult information, kids. <laughs> I don't know if it's different for younger kids. My, um, one of my old friends who we had a falling out, she, uh, her little sister got married really young because, uh, well, because also they're, they're Christian. They wanted to, they, they want, his family was very, very strict and wouldn't let him date anyone until he was 18. And so, um, uh, but she was going to college and they were basically been in love since it, they were like having they had like little baby love or whatever and were like best friends for the longest time grew up in the same church and then um they started dating when he was 18 she was 16 and we're like you know like inseparable and stuff and so he left with her to go to school but they wanted to be faithful to god so they decided to get married first um and then she got pregnant right away <laughs> like 18 like oh dang but she's so creative and she she actually has like three kids and she's very very happy and she has a you know like most people even christians are like don't get married young don't get married young and i I, like i agree but um her marriage and you know some other people's marriage when they get married young have worked out and the i I, the thing is like her husband loves her loves her to death and so yeah but it was so funny because like uh, they got pregnant, and they also got pregnant um, with a Down syndrome kid, Aww. and the doctors were even, and they, and you know what I loved about it? They're like, well, maybe God wanted us to have him, because the doctor was even saying, like, this is, like, so odd, because, she, because young people are, it's very unlikely to have births like that for a kid when you're that, like, young and fertile or yeah. whatever, I guess. So, I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to the mission again. We should probably see if we can find better weapons, because I don't know if we're going to beat yeah. these things. Th- there, there's way more further down. Yeah. I know, I got, I found hey, I'm going to convince you. And if I get more fans and we play games, they'll convince you too. You should make a YouTube channel. Okay. Make a YouTube channel. Put your art on there. Put your gaming stuff on there. Just do it for fun. And then if you get to streaming in the future, you should do that. Because you're very artistic and you like talking to people, but you're an introvert, so you don't like talking to people except online. <laughs> yeah. And you already moderate all these Facebook groups and other stuff. So. Right. So I would never see you actually moderating everyone. You're just there. <laughs> it's much, only like, just Lisa and Katie, <laughs> and then I and then know. and then a little bit of um. I'm just talking about our main one, but uh, the main yeah. one I, I like. <laughs> Tra- post all these trash um, memes too, <laughs> but it's mostly just Katie, Lisa, and uh, yeah, uh, Nicole, I, I forget the other girl who's very, very creative and artistic. Yeah, yeah. The name slips me, but you know. <laughs> yeah. And then me, who's causing drama. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like this, the liberal leaning. Christian in the group, and the conservatives yeah. are like, ah! <laughs> I know, I feel like I don't even do anything much as a mod. Like, I think the most that I do is, um, except I think, I think, um, with COVID and other things, people have gotten a lot more peaceful and yeah. uh, been trying, and like, have been ashamed about, at least the people in our group have been ashamed about the amount of Christians fighting outside and been trying really hard to stay away from controversial topics and uh, fighting and yeah. politics and everything else to one respect the group and two because we're sick of the fighting. Yeah. You know? Like, whatever people say, like, this is my thing where I'm like, yo, even if like President Trump gets reelected, I'm just sick of people fighting. I'm like sick of it in general. I don't care who wins the election. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna vote. Did did they not come out or oh did the mission continue? Yeah, I, I didn't die. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I found somehow I didn't die, but I found I have throwing darts somehow, and they're pretty good. So. 
Okay, I'm gonna open this one and there's gonna be more monsters. Watch out. I will be, I will be your, I will be your, um, tank. <laughs> Except I die. Ah! Try not to die. Okay, try. And I'll come back. Okay. Ah! My throwing darts. I like these throwing darts. I don't know where I got them. You know what's funny? The way my character looks on the side, her eye, it looks like she has, like, a spyglass on her. You know, like, you know, like those one yeah. little eye glasses? That's what I think of every time I see your character. I'm like, ah, yeah, me too. I'm like, oh, she's got that eyeglass on, <laughs> but both sides, so she's like double glassed. Yeah, <laughs> she's really big. But you should, especially since you have all this free time and you like to play games. You should start recording yourself, even if it's just gameplay and yeah. some of your art stuff, and just start doing whatever fun things for fun. And then you can you can you can branch off into streaming of that after you build up a fan base, and you can also show some of your art for selling because you like that stuff, and that's what a lot of your career is anyway. And that's yeah. just me trying to encourage you. So, well, thanks. <laughs> and you can do whatever you want. Like, it, it, and the nice thing too is like if you got into it, you wouldn't have to continue. You could just like. If you like it, and then you're like, I don't enjoy this anymore, and you can quit it. Or like, right. even like big YouTubers, like I guess PewDiePie is why I, they got married, right? Marissa? Yeah. It was like, oh yay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm, I'm glad they're such a cute couple. But um, like she doesn't do it anymore. I don't think, right? I think she yeah, says no, fast. She quit. Yeah, I think she, I think she decided to pull back because she was probably overwhelmed by the drama, or they were making, they, they have, they're so rich, <laughs> they don't need any more money. Right. But, you know, um, but, like, they pulled back, and, uh, or she, she doesn't have a channel, but she still does it, but, yeah. you can always quit in the future, you don't have to, like, keep your channel right. going, if you, like, feel like you outgrow it, because the thing is, people outgrow, <gasps> ooh, is this what we need? I have no idea. <laughs> what are I you just doing? started trying, I couldn't, it didn't seem to do Is that a pickaxe? Yeah, I found it in a thing. It doesn't seem to be doing anything though. Yeah, I don't think I think that's sure. supposed to be used as a as a fake weapon or something. Maybe. This isn't really doing much either though. Yeah. It's like I can't really see what you're doing either. Maybe that's not what we're These are the crystals we need, right? Are they? I have I have no idea. Maybe they're not. Uh, okay. Let's kill all these monsters first. Oh, you know what? I learned CPR okay. um, at, because I've worked in daycares and education a lot and uh, in the past for changing careers and then wanting to do do this full time if eventually in the future if 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 I still enjoy it or if um, I get enough people that like to watch me that it's equitable. Um, but uh, it's really funny that, um, I don't know, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, oh, it was really funny because when uh, they're teaching you uh, the CPR or one of the classes, like learning CPR, because you have to be CPR certified um, for the most part for if you're in daycares and um, in education, they encourage it too in case know like like you know and bloodborne passages blah 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 all these stuff you need to work yeah. with kids so you can help uh, protect and save life and know what to do for smaller children versus uh, adults and stuff yeah. but they teach you the, the uh 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 stay in the lab, <laughs> yeah. stay in it for counting like he said like look it's sometimes hard for you to count so just do the song uh 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 for the heartbeats for like CPR. Yeah. Ah, 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 stay alive, stay alive. Okay, breath. Ah, 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 for like, because he's like, you're not gonna remember compression, so. Hey, what's up? Whoa. 
What is this? I don't know. Person. Yeah. Those things weren't here before. What created them? Maybe they'll <laughs> join us and fight on our side. <laughs> ah! Oh. Hey, come, come back, person. <laughs> you have a good one. <laughs> okay, you know. Okay, you want to know the cutest thing? Um, what? my favorite, favorite person. Well, she's not my favorite. Person. My, uh, she's my. She doesn't know she's my mentor, but I prayed it in. <laughs> but I go to her prayer group, and she's uh, she's basically my pastor, one of my favorite people. Um. <laughs> And it's because she has such amazing testimony and stuff. Um, like, basically, like, she's super dirt poor, pot smoker, blah, blah, blah. Like, all these, like, just, like, you know, like, out of control, whatever things. And kind of, like, now she's, like, um, uh, she's a missionary. She's, uh, she goes on all these different missions. She's so perfect. She's so kind. But I love her because she's in her sixth, she, like, turned 60 this year. And she's, and she'll call, like, she'll call you people. She'll like because she works with young people so much. I think she's picked up a lot of slang. She'll be like, "Oh, you can put your purse back there, boo." And like, it's just so, so odd because I think of her like my mom, <laughs> like you know, like a cool mom yeah. though, you know, because she's yeah. old enough she could be my mom. And I'm like, it's just like my mom <laughs> saying boo. I'm like, this is what my this is what my students or my teenagers felt like when I'm like <laughs> when I'm using slang all the time. <laughs> Oh, it was funny. I didn't know what gassing someone was before. I was like, what's gassing? And I'm like, and then I had to find out, oh, it means like messing with someone. It's so cute. Teenagers treat, uh, teaching you new, um, well, there you are. New slang. They're like, oh, you're so old. You don't know it. They're like, well, I'm sorry. We had different slang in my day. And I'm like, oh. Now I know how my parents felt when I came right. home to my dad. I'm like, hey, dad, someone jacked my scarf. He's like, what? they did what to your scarf? Mm -hmm. I'm like, dad, someone jacked my scarf. They stole it. He's like, oh, they stole your scarf. Okay. And I'm like, and I'm like dad, this cake is bomb. And he's like, yeah, it's the bomb. And I'm like, no, don't. Please don't. It's right. not the bomb. It's stop. <laughs> I know, like, we had, a uh, my husband has a much younger sister, and when she started using all these, uh, different slang words, I was like, oh my god, I feel so old, I actually have to look up these words. I don't know! <laughs> I don't know I what they are! that's how a lot of people in the, the <laughs> our, our Facebook group felt. They were like, because I've been using all this slang, they're like, oh, I had to look that word up, I didn't even know it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I right. speak a lot of slang. And I have to watch that too, because um, my mom, we rent, or we rent out, inter we rent out rooms in international states, you know, we can home stay stuff to afford uh, paying for stuff, because it's so expensive where I live. And she, uh, or it, like, she has to remind me about my slang because it's so confusing for foreign students or people, because you know English is their first language, so they're already learning a second or third language, and then. Um, uh, and then if you add in slang, <laughs> and then regional slang, oh my gosh, you know what's so funny? Uh, uh, okay, I'll have to edit that. Um, <laughs> sorry, something popped up and then I had to drop out, and so I'm gonna edit that out. Hopefully I don't remember. We'll see. Anyway, um, when we, uh, what was I talking about? Remind me. I don't even remember. Oh, no. Because <laughs> you're like, Carolyn, you talk a lot. <laughs> that's why I was like, that's why I, why I should do this. Talk. I like talking. I like talking to people. And if you can just let me sit there and talk and talk and talk, I'll just tell you all day. <laughs> all day. And even more so because I'm an extrovert in freaking quarantine. I know not really. Right. We're not an actual quarantine, but social distance. Be smart. Quarantine. And I have been wearing my mask, thank you very much. I'm not like all those other, like, um, super stuck-up Americans where I'm like, at the very least, just wearing big groups. Just big groups, okay? Like, yeah. Or, like, just be safe, or I don't know. Yeah. Just do it, just do it to 
make other people feel, like I don't know I live in a very scientific very atheistic agnostic place so people are very like science like six feet mass blah blah, blah. and I'm like even if you don't have symptoms like okay fine and it's like I understand they don't they don't really know enough about the virus that they're just being very cautious but where are you at? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you could look down with control. Very useful. The nice thing is too is like you can live other places and use the and stuff. Yeah. If you ever get screaming. Yeah, so, that's true. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I would want to be full career streamer. I yeah. think I'd want to more just be a hobby person because, like, I don't... I want impact more than I want fame, you know? Like, that's what the things I pray to God when I was, like, like things he put on my heart, things that he spoke to me when I did interns, when I was, like, really, really running off and focusing and seeking the Lord and stuff. Like, you put all these things in my heart, and I, and I, like, remember praying and telling God, like, you know, I don't want the things you have for me for the wrong reason at the wrong time. Even if I'm frustrated and upset, I don't want it. And now I'm, like, getting older, I'm like, oh, you know, kind of time's going deaf, God. <laughs> Any day now, be nice. Just kidding. <laughs> Life is like that. the wrong place um but basically i don't know if i could handle that much fame yes. for like people that have like millions of subscribers even if like they're not super uh what do you call it popular or super well known um i know like people who have been president or or like influence or whatever else in the past they all said like you know the thing that they miss the most was their anonymity, meaning like, you know, people don't know who you are, so you have a level of, like, discreet. That's like my pastor, too, he cracks me up because he's like, he was talking about an experience on the plane for one of his servants, and he was like, he's like, um, about like a fight he almost got into, because you know, pastors are people too, and he was talking, um, or he goes, he's like, but then... He's like, he's like, I was worried when you were there. And sometimes you don't say hi, you just stare at me. And that is, <laughs> he's like, and that scares me. <laughs> he's like, so he, and it basically was like some asshole who basically took his seat on the plane. And, you know, he was like, and he's like, I have one rule, no bowhead. And he's like, uh, man, I'm already here. I was like, he's like, yeah, I know, but my seat. And he's like, I know, I know, tough tough luck and he's like he's like it was about to go down <laughs> he's like I'm a pastor I can't do this <laughs> he's like I'm a very well known public figure pastor <laughs> so he's like fine he's like but then he's like I move over move over sit down as I write my sermon on how to let it go <laughs> he's like you can't make this stuff up he's like oh can you let that one go I guess Okay, there is the person. How far deep? Oh, I do like it how it shows the arrow. You know what's so funny too? Cardi B cracks me up. I know she's like inappropriate and way out there, but she cracks me up so much. Not necessarily about like her political views, but just the way that like she really doesn't care and she'll like take shots at anyone. And also because, like, when people, my friend posted this thing, and I'm like, you know, it's, like, I agree, but you kind of have a point where it's like, 
WAP is inappropriate for kids. And I'm like, me in middle school, to the window, from the window, to the wall. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I also listen to I Have Hoes and different area codes. <laughs> and, and because I got high before I understood what because I got high was. <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah. It's not any worse than the other rap and other stuff that's been out there basically t sexualizing everything, so. Oh, did you die? I'm here yeah. though, so maybe it's, it won't lose yeah. all our progress. Yeah, I think you. I died right before you did and came back, so. Oh, those guys are still there. Okay, hopefully we didn't lose any progress. Then. Right. Gosh, I need a better weapon. I need I need that jump boost already. I have the zoom one, but I need to go do the trial for the jump one. I think I need to get some minerals or something to the person to do that. But yeah, it's nice playing. It's nice making some friends online who are also Christians or believers. Because I don't, like, I try to be really discreet about my face sometimes. And I'm trying to be open about it on this channel, but not in people's face. And it's nice being able to talk about certain things and people get it. Because the vast majority of people in my family don't believe except for me. So it's constantly talking about, like, well, they're like, well, you know, I believe in God. And, like, they're very agnostic, and it's just like it's frustrating and it, it's nice having more people to talk to who get it right. even and like and uh people who are very dogmatic and hateful because i like a lot of those people in the church have almost made me like walk away from my faith I don't know where I'm going. That's like an entrance up to further down, and I don't know where it is. Because you have this place that we had the monsters. Oh, here it is. I'm so stupid. I just need to keep going forward. What is it? 
Pretty much the same. I like guess the <laughs> same character build. guys are killing them for us. Nice. So help. Where are you at, anyway? I have no idea. Where are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to... Ah! There's one less horror in the world. Weapon. Oh, they just fell. Right. Oh, I wonder if they died or just disappeared. They're gone. Oh, there they are. Oh, I might die. I gotta get healed. I'll give you a better gun later, or I'll give it back afterwards, because I'm good at the distance things, because I'm good at, I don't like, I'm, I'm, I know how to do that. Yeah, wait, how do I drop it? Put it, just put it in the box here. Okay, yeah. And you can be the forward person, and I'll be, do you need healing salves at all? Or do you have enough? No, I use one. Huh?
I forget. I, I keep hitting craft, and I forget you can just like hit the num, make a number, and then craft it. Because I've never played Minecraft that much, or at all ever. So. Hey, can you explain to me? Because I don't understand this joke. What is the? This is a Christian Minecraft server joke. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just a stupid meme. I have no idea where it came from or anything originally. Is it because there's a lot of Christians who like to play Minecraft and one, of their, parents, one of their parents was a total Karen and was like, you can't play with those people. And they're like, I'm sorry, this is Minecraft server so only for Christians. You can't play with it. <laughs> I guess. Or like, you can't have whatever behavior here because it's a Christian Minecraft game server. Yeah. I don't understand that joke. the right gun that I got from you, or is it something else? Yeah. No, it's the only gun I have. Is it throwing darts? Uh, I guess so. I don't know what No, no, it's- Oh, hey, do you want my thing instead? It's a distance weapon. It's- it's sure. darts. Oh, sure, yeah. I had darts. And then you can do the sword with darts, and I'll do the gun. Good. Ah, I'm trying not to die! Oh. Okay, yeah, I will come give you the dart okay. thing when I come back. Okay. I feel like I'm playing that one stupid game. What is it called? Um, the tree climbing one or something? Or the uh, try not to... Um, oh, yeah. Don't starve? No, not don't starve, but the one that's basically a rage game. No idea. Get over it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what's called Get Over It. Nice. Where basically it's a rage game where you're upset. And, you know, it's it basically it's like it, it like you have to backtrack it. You end up backtracking a lot. Really have you watched or or played it or seen it before? you sound okay because I don't know how to adjust those volumes yet. Yeah. I don't know how to do a lot of the stuff but I'm trying. Let me just adjust these. Okay. Um, where are you at? Where do I go? Get into a Oh I go down here. Okay. And I just keep going forward. in here too. You can have that weapon since I have the gun. Axe. Do you see the axe? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better than the last. So that one's like more damage. So since you're gonna be the tank or you're gonna be the the close distance, you can have that 
that one. I'll use the gun. Okay, let's clear these bad boys out. brother and sister and um, for their baby okay. just because she is in her mid-30s and so hopefully they don't yeah. have a miscarriage or anything like that because she's very healthy yeah. um, but I just feel like especially since their wedding was canceled this and that it just be really really heartbreaking if they had to go through that too My, I was like, Mom, do you think it was an accident or do you think it was planned? And she's like, I think it was planned. Because, <laughs> you know, they're like, man, our wedding is even more delayed now. <laughs> we just, we have a house, it's fine. Right. I'm like, they're technically already supposed to be married anyway. <laughs> it's not like they, yeah, so. Yeah. And, like I said, neither one of them have those convictions anyway, because, so, yeah. Yeah. But, um, they've been dating for, like, a few years, so they pretty much have been, like, a married couple-ish. They've been a very committed, uh, couple, at least for, like, three to four years now. Yeah. And I missed when he proposed, but I was at my friend's wedding. And to be fair, I'd all rescheduled it, and he didn't tell me what was going to happen. He goes, you don't want to miss it. I'm like, is something gonna happen? He's <laughs> like, you know, you just don't want to miss it. And it's because I have a big mouth, so they don't think they can trust me telling anything. But <laughs> where are you? <laughs> I'm trying to find you. <laughs> I got to this one area that didn't really go anywhere, and then I found out there was another area I could go to. It's just like, uh, okay. Guess I'm getting closer to the whatever crystals. Uh, what? What is going on?
the nice thing about everyone being having to be online and um, the church is empty and everything else like that kind of ish is like all these different denominations are having to like interact with each other more. Yeah. We are becoming, even though we're fighting a lot, we're in a sense becoming more unified because we're like having to engage with people that disbelieve with our certain doctrinal things of like X, Y, Z. And I'm like, um, you can debate some of those things, but a lot of those are not deal breakers. <laughs> They're not right. important. Get back on mission, please. Oh no. Oh no. Where are you? I found the boss. <laughs> Where are you, though? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a lot deeper into the level, I guess. Okay. Uh, Maybe I need to go back and see if I can get there a different way. Yeah. I don't even know how I got there. I guess it's not because I die. The first I ah! think this is supposed <laughs> to be a shortcut. Sorry about the AI, dear. I know. Oh, yeah, you're Look at those. Proportionary uh, contact with the uh, whatever thing. Okay. Hi. <laughs> well, I have to hear the bounce over. Guys, I'm in an episode here because my friend has disappeared. Are you there? I can't hear Hi, you. Hi, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, I guess you didn't hear me. I said I had to go to the bathroom, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I fought the boss and I lost. Oh no. You want to try yeah. to go find the boss again? Yeah. <laughs> I found it. It's like yeah, I have no idea how I got there, but. Me neither. Let's <laughs> just explore. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Let's just go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Just kept going in one direction. Oh, I hate these guys. Whoa! 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 Yeah. Who are you in your ugly haircut? Right? They don't hit very hard, though, surprisingly. Why are you attacking us? Aren't you supposed to be on the like our side? No, that's not a human. That's like a. Oh, it's a, it is a monster thing. My bad. I didn't notice. Cause yeah, that's what I thought too. I was like, oh, it's like why a are you tanked up guy. People? Yeah. Ah! I need the double jump. I should have yeah. upgraded. Because I like this thing at least. I have those. Upgrade, but there we go. Ah. Yay. Yeah, they don't hit very hard for some reason, but. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a mini boss. Yo, or but... after uh, 
Please had you play Seven Days to Die. Did yeah. you get into it at all anymore? No, I keep meaning to go back on, but like. Yeah, same here. It's just. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I did that too. <laughs> Try not to die. No. I'll be right back. Oh, you actually... <laughs> did you die? <laughs> I fell okay, all the way. Okay. okay, I just won't go forward. I'll stay here. <laughs> oh! This is the, the shortcut. Thank God. Yay. Go all those ones again. <sighs> oh, so I guess what's supposed to have happened to these monsters is they mutated. I guess maybe. From the, huh? I guess maybe from the radiation or something? Yeah, know. something like that. Oops. It's so hard jumping down these and not. Oh, I know. <laughs> not falling to your death. <laughs> like I did last time. There you are. Okay, let's go. Let's go F, F this monster. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to the lower one. Okay. You have to, like, make us turn on this thing and then hit. You have to power yeah. this thing up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Ah. Here, you go up and do it and I'll... Uh... Okay. Ah! Jump! Jump! There we go. Okay. That's all. Oops. <laughs> I just hear... Ah! Are you still fighting? Yeah. Ah! Well, I may not be. Why can I not? Oh, I'm dumb. I was like, why am I not healing? See if it lets me come back. I'll try to come back. Ah! Did you die? No. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to, though. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna try to get to you. Ah! I say ow when my character gets hurt, but <laughs> <laughs> I just feel it's pain. Oh, I feel dang my game it. character's pain. Yeah. Died. Where you at? Did you die? Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. <laughs> that was so close. I did oh no! Good. Oh no, he's got me cornered! Oh no! <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> Go get the ones on the other side. I already got the ones, the two on this okay. side. Aha, uh -huh. alright. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. <gasps> we, we did it? We did it! I survived! There's a chest up ahead. You should take the things inside. Right. Where's, where's up you. ahead? <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> like, wait a second. I don't see up ahead anywhere. I know. Just went in the same direction. We're like, wait. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Chesty chest. Did you get it? No, I think it's. I don't think we get the same stuff. Yay, we got the crystal. <laughs> Did you get it? 
Okay. And we can look for the stuff and swap some, too. Okay, yeah. Because I got... I got... Because I don't think it was... Um, only one person can take it. Damage per shot. More one. Over here. Oh, she's teleporting. I have a, a gun if you Ooh. want. Nice. Sure. I don't care. Just like swing it back through. <laughs> I don't even know if it looks the same on your screen. But <laughs> I can't see you because I'm in my menu, honestly. Okay. Just being Ooh. Weird. I'm going to put this. <laughs> Do you want a hiker jacket? Sure. There. There's a shroom chest. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shade Co. Shady. Ah! <laughs> okay. So what do we do now? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so with one, <laughs> I I'm know. dying, I'm like, ah, it's so I much easier. I barely got like a third of the way. <laughs> Especially since we have such crap weapons right now. I'm like, gosh. And like, they have like distance attacks and... Yeah. It's so dumb. <laughs> oh, so cute. Perfect, please job will do. I'll go ahead and fix up your ship right now. Yes! Woohoo! We're gonna have a working ship! Yay! Oh, what a cute little robot. Rob or Para. <laughs> Can't remember. But I bought a auto chip from him. Here, I got two legendary bags. I should give you one. Here, let me open them and see what's in it. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Manipulator module? I got extra manipulator modules if you need them there. <laughs> Tech card. Okay. Then let's go see. Um, I don't know what, remember what this guy needs for his upgrade. Excuse me, I'm busy right now. Oh, we gotta talk to the Ark Lady anyway, but, um, I need to get silver. Okay. And have you done the first one? Do you have copper or anything? Yes. Did you make copper bars? I don't remember if I made them for you or not. Uh, yeah, I think I have some. Getting, getting some you give them ten.
did you, um, I forget what it's called. Did you get whatever you need done? Sorry, did you or do you have ten coppers? Because I need to go swarm some gold. Ooh, that's a fun weapon. I know. It's so funny, whenever you guys see you have cool stuff, I'm like, ooh, that's fun. You wanna trade? <laughs> <laughs> Stop picking your weapons. Right. I do have copper ores, so I can at least make them. If I have copper bars, they're probably out of my ship. I don't remember if I did whatever it was that I was supposed to do with the copper. Okay, um, so come to my ship. And you can make copper ores here. I have some too I can make. Oh, pet kitty. Oh, wait, I think I have one. Like a small ship. Okay, I just made some. If you, okay. I have, so, yeah. um, Aha. I do have, Was how it many ten? do I have? Oh, there we go. Okay, I have... Oh, I have 16 copper bars, so I got you if you need any. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm good. I go sit. I need to go find some silver. I have some silver. Oh, yeah, I have a ton of silver. You do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, do you think you have enough? Um, are you... Do you have a furnace at your ship? Yeah. I don't even beam to you. Oh, okay. I just beamed to your ship. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm beaming to you, I think, so if you're on my ship, I'm coming to you. Okay. Oh, wait. Did you beam no. to my ship? I don't see you. Yeah. Wait. Oh, maybe... I'll just go to you. I don't even know where I am anymore. Oh, there hi. you are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, can you make... I have four. Can you make... Okay. Where did you get that hat? <laughs> I found it somewhere. I don't even know. I forgot it was in my inventory. <laughs> wow. Okay. How many do you need? Um, I need at least six. Okay. And I guess I'll put them just... Six. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Pet the kitty. You got a middle evil bed. Here's your civil, silver pickaxe, too. Okay. Um. I'm going to. Uh, go to the outpost. Do you have your 10 copper? Or do you need. I, I have copper bars if you. Yeah, no, I got copper bars. Okay. So come give, sure. and you can probably do the quest, your quest, too. And we also need to go talk to, um, wheelchair lady. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Ah! No! Get out of that! That was no mean feat. Well done, dear. Now that your ship is in full working order, we can get started on the task at hand. Before you go... Jetting off. I almost thought that said jerking off. <laughs> I'll teach you how. Oh my gosh. Uh, how to access and use the scan mode on your matter manipulator. There is a lot to be learned from your surroundings. And the outpost is no exception. Press in to equip your scanner. Key areas of interest will appear green. Let me know how you get on. Oh. 
I'm at aesthetic gate like nothing I've ever encountered before. That's cool. Okay, how do I get out of it? I don't want to do it anymore. Can you undo it? <laughs> yeah, oh no. Oh. I just scroll down. Oh, that's how you do it? Yeah. Speak Delia at the outpost. Marvelous. With these additions, the Pulse Jump Tech is ready for testing. Come and speak to me again if you'd like to help. Um, so if you come and give your goal or your copper bars, um, you can do the dash one. And then you get the upgrade after that. So this is the jump one. So if you give your silver bars after that, you can do the... This is so nice. This is why I want the upgrade. <laughs> the the dash one is nice, like, but you don't use it as much. But the jump one is just like, I'm gonna use it so much. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. You know what's funny? I like to watch a lot of YouTubers who are into horror games. But I don't like to play horror. Same. <laughs> it's like I like I like watching someone else play because I'll get jump scared or I'll get scared. But I'm watching I'm watching it with someone else. But if I'm playing it, like no. And so I just and I'm not good at them either. They're not my thing. So I might play some in the future, like the story element ones. But um, it's just I like watching a lot of horror. I don't always like play it. But yeah. I want for my channel to be kind of like a multi whatever game, like whatever I'm in the mood of playing, I'm gonna I'm gonna play. Like I might do um, if I get enough people that like my channel, I might do like fan requests or whatever in the future. Yeah. But like the problem is like when you're a creator or artist or anything, and you understand this because you are an artist, is like like and it's hard because someone commissions something, but if your passion's not into it. It's just yeah. gonna come off bland and, and really bad. And so it's always good for there to be a good relationship or for someone to feel like, oh, I like your art, I'd like to see this. And you were like, okay, I'd like to do that. Because if not, it's just gonna be, come off super fake and super, or like bad. Because you can't be passionate about it. Oh, 
how this is if I fail. love it when you, oh, it went down the wrong place. You're gonna love it when you can finally, um, what do you call it? You're gonna love it when you can finally, um, have the pulse jump. It's really nice. Oh, dang it. silver because you gotta do the double jump. Yeah. Gotta grab the reading, whatever. <laughs> the tech I'm working on now is truly fan fantastic. It enables the user to compress into a small spherical form ideal for moving around in tight spaces. I need some final components to finish it. Could you bring me 10 gold bars? Yes. How's your test going? Pretty good. Just I just can can't finish setting up shop with him like this. Can you help me get a new teddy bear for him, please? Fine, I'll get your son a teddy bear. I don't know where, but I'll try. Oh yeah, Oops. I like this double jump. <laughs> Isn't it nice? So nice. So nice, and I think he can also help save you from fall damage if you're like falling and then you just jump last minute. Nice. Most likely it can help, I don't know for sure. You'd have to time it or try it. Oh, I don't want that mission, but... Um... The Unix fuel for your fill drive can be mined from moons. It should be noted. Okay. I need to get fuel from a moon. How do I do that? Actually finish this quest first.
Got the double jump now. Okay, I think we're supposed to scan things around the base until she's happy to complete the main the, the mission. The furniture shop sells a large selection of exotic pieces from across the universe and regularly has new stock. It also sells con- er, missed it, whatever. Dumb. It's a printer and scanner. This is a curious looking stall. I wonder what its purpose is. When the store is open for business, you'll be able to create custom signs here. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, cargo. The Terramont looks farming and gardening supplies, among other things. They even buy homegrown produce from you through the remote something. Oh, I'm gonna buy this pet house. It looks cute. I'm gonna buy him a ball too. World pet. I'm gonna sell some of these things because I can't. Huh. Scan everything. Arr, <laughs> with penguins. There's a little penguin dude down here that gives you a quest. There's a what? It's a little penguin down below in the, I guess, the basement area that gives you a little, some kind of quest. I didn't really even look at it, but... Oh, okay. Let's see if I can check that out. Yeah. Do you have a scan a thing down there anyway, so... Do you have gold? Yeah, I did. I don't know where I got it, but I had it. <laughs> How much did you have? I don't even know. Let me look. I can give you some. Do you have enough? Yeah, well... Yeah. We gotta find some more, if not, because I don't have any gold, and I can't make it yet. I only have five gold ores, so I don't even know how many bars that is, but... Okay, we gotta see if we can find me some more gold so I can um, do the quest too. And I deal in robots. So I have this experimental module space mech in need of a test drive, and my usual pilots are indisposed. Cloud 
you do me a favor, or Cloud, <laughs> could you do me a favor and fly it through my test course? Just talk to me when you're ready to go. Is that the quest you got? Yeah. Okay. Haven't done anything about that, but I actually think I'm gonna get off. Yeah, can you- well, actually, never mind. We can find me gold next time. Yeah. Um, because this has been fun, and I want to get some other stuff done, too. Yeah, um, well, I'm going to give you the gold that I have. I don't even know. Yeah, why don't you do that, and then I can, if I play my own, I'll see if I can find some more gold, and then, yeah. But it's nice we made some progress. Okay, just put it in the fridge. <laughs> I see gold ore. Nice. Okay. I, I was like, are there is those golden potatoes? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> okay. We have two. Ooh. Girl, did you know you can go other places now? Like where? Like, you can go to a different planet. Oh, cool. I gotta figure that out. <laughs> we, I gotta go, we gotta go to a moon so that we can, um, get a uh, feel. A desert area. Hey, okay. Can I tell you something crazy? Sure. Okay. It's totally not biblical, and I could be wrong, and we could just probably be just this. But um, one strange thought I had, especially when COVID hit, and I kind of felt like God's blessing and God's, like, especially from the song, The Blessing. Mm -hmm. I felt like, you know, like, because people, you know how Christians are so obsessed with end times and stuff like that, you know? Like, yeah. end times. When is end times coming? When is end times? And it's like, we've been in end times. It's been, it happened 2,000 years ago. <laughs> like, right. it's, it's been, it's been, it's not after, it's like, we're, we've been in this time. But I'm like, sometimes I'm like, what if God wants to explore the galaxy with his creation? <laughs> like, wouldn't that be wild if, like, the end in days weren't actually, and we were meant as humanity to explore this whole huge galaxy? Because, you know, they talk about how big the galaxy is, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm like, why would yeah. God bother making such a huge galaxy in the first place? Because I do believe God exists, and I do believe in the Bible, and this and that, and I don't know if I believe there's aliens or whatever. But, yeah. like, but I'm like, what if, like, that's what God wanted, is just explore the galaxy? So, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. It's just a strange thought, and it, it's, yeah. it's not understanding, but it just, maybe because of the space games, and this and that, and learning more about the galaxy, and yeah. everything else, it's just, like, it, it's, it's crazy, but, like, um, yeah. yeah. But, you know, like, it's so funny that, like, so much about this beautiful little planet called Earth, like, I don't know. Except we've been having some major problems on this beautiful little planet called Earth. Have you ever played um, like the Magic School Bus games? Mm -mm. Do you ever? Did you ever play those as a kid? I don't think so. I, I mean, played. I, love the show, I played but... so many of them. Of like the explore the galaxy, explore the ocean. When it was like a rock one, mm -hmm. I played all those as a kid. <laughs> They're nice. fun. So yeah, it was just a random thought I had because you know, like especially how Christians are like. We're, it's in times, everything's over. I'm like, first of all, I don't think so. It's, it's just another rough patch. We've right. had plagues before. We've had, um, 
we've had tragedies we've had so many different things Mm -hmm. so i don't know yeah it's been a lot of crap happening in the world and it's kind of sad but i'm happy that some people are coming together and i'm helping with grocery distribution and just trying to spread love and be positive as much as possible and you know if you disagree with people pleasantly disagree with them because i'm so tired of people fighting same i'm so tired of fighting because like my parents fought all the time when i was a kid you know so i just can't stand when people are fighting i just can't stand it i'm like can you find like can you say you have to say two nice things about each other before you say (laughs) one negative okay i did that with like my behavior students a long time ago i was like we were like you need to say two nice things and then you can say one negative because all the time you're just saying negative things i'm like this is not gonna fly with me well i mean i didn't make the world like the teacher did but I was I I heavily enforced it. Yeah. I I rise to the occasion. I'm a very nice, pleasant person, but if you push me too far, I become a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so don't piss me off. I'm very scary when I'm pissed off. <laughs> I'm very terrifying. <laughs> I have a really horrible temper. I just it takes a lot because I'm very patient and uh I'm very patient. I'm very I'm very forgiving, and so I try, if someone pisses me off, I try really hard not to start something. Yeah. Okay, well, it was fun playing a few. Yes. I'm gonna, um, end the episode here, and maybe play more in the future. Oh, did you disconnect? It disconnected me. Sorry. (laughs) It's fine. Hopefully it saves still. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, I think it automatically saves. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you know what my sign off is? And I don't know if I'll get hate for it, but hopefully, especially since so many people hate Christians these days, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not one of those hateful Christians. I'm just open about my faith, and I'm not going to put it down your face, but just be nice. <laughs> but you want to know my sign off? And I'm like, ugh, I don't know if I should keep it and just be like, if not, you guys bless. But I just do, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may his face shine upon you and give you his peace. In Jesus' name, you guys stay blessed. Love you. Have a blessed night, blessed morning, blessed day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know what to say either, so. Yeah. Anyway, this was fun. I really like playing games with you, girl. Um, Same. And I think you should start a channel. Just do, just see how it goes. If you don't like it, get out of it. But yeah. Um, I, my feeling is as long as you're not dogmatic or push things and I, I'm just more of an open person but if you're just yourself there needs to be more positive uplifting chill people instead yeah. of narcissistic or hateful people because thank god the vast majority of people who are the biggest on some of those platforms or things are very uh, are reasonably good role models but the vast majority are like it's just yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's so much like so much of our society and culture has become just like focus on me, look to me, it's all about me, 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 me. And like, you know, that's that's our own selfishness, that's sin right there. But yeah. it's just very frustrating because no one knows how you can be real anymore, you know? Right. Where they're like, Do you just want me for my click or my attention or my this that or do you care about me as a person? And I think even the church has been fooled in some of that, where it's like, they're like, you just want my click, you just want my tithe, you want just me to this and that, like, I don't matter to you. And that's why, like, for my church, we were trying to, we're trying to go to smaller groups, because, like, you can't grow or connect or, like, really change or develop unless you know people. And so many of the problems with the making sure just people just slip in and out. You don't create relationships, you don't create connections, you don't create you know, understanding, it's like, yeah, and so, and so, it, it's, it's relationships that actually really grow us, so, yeah. I've been learning so much this last year, 2020 <laughs> has aged me, I think, like, 10 years, right, <laughs> it's been a hard year, I've cried and prayed so much for our country, and especially for the world, so <laughs> I have cried a lot like a lot <laughs> anyway 
I had fun. I'll talk to you later, and we'll make another oh. play date soon. Okay, sounds good. And let's do some art stuff in the future, too, and yeah. Yeah, sounds good. All right, bye, girl. Bye.